Well, I, I guess I learned about 40 Days for Life um, when I was um, just getting emails. I got a whole bunch of emails back sometime before, from 2007 to 2012. I was getting these series of emails. I don't know how they got me on their list. And it was telling me about what God was doing when people stood in a, outside an abortion facility and prayed. And I thought, hmm, but I ignored it. And then in 2012, I had the opportunity to, to be involved. So I, we launched the first uh, local 40 Days for Life campaign here in Broward County. And, or actually, well, it was the second one. Somebody else had already launched and we went ahead and did it ourselves. And uh, so we've been doing it since 2012. Uh, and it was just because we could see the fruit that took place when people prayed and it just harnessed the power of prayer to try to bring an end to abortion, which is what 40 Days for Life and our present outside the abortion facility now is all about. Well, I got the ball rolling, um, um, but uh, now it's being hit, led by Tom Walker and some other volunteers. I launched it and I'm a volunteer. I participate in the prayer and help as I can. But that's been, uh, this has been my role, just basically got it going back in 2012. And uh, then we wound up here at this facility and uh, we, we are next to a church, which has been really helpful for us in terms of doing what we do outside of the abortion facility because we use their facility, we park here and so forth. So that's been, a, that's been a great thing. 40 Days for Life is all about bringing an end to abortion. Abortion takes, um, uh, there are about over a million people that die every year because of abortion. And it's important that we realize that these are people. It's easy because it's out of sight. It's too often out of mind. But the reality is that abortion is a genocide. It's a whole class of human beings, the, the unborn, that are just being relegated and forgotten. And we're told to love our neighbor. And too often we ignore our neighbor when it comes to the unborn. And, and that's not love. Indifference, which I think is the sin of the church, is a problem that 40 Days for Life seeks to address. We're too indifferent as a church, as a body, to the horrific reality of what abortion is. We don't know and we, too often we don't want to know. So 40 Days for Life allows people to put a toe in the water, to stand for an hour to pray outside of a place where human beings are actually being taken in to be killed. And so we, um, we are involved in saving human lives through prayer and loving intervention. And that's really what it's all about. And it's also a recruiting tool because it gives people a way to step into the waters. They don't have to do everything. They can just do one thing, just stand and pray. And uh, God uses it to uh, mobilize people and also to, um, to save lives. People are alive today because some of us decided to be out here. Because um, abortion is such a critical issue, and it really raises a lot of uh, things about God and human life, it also affords an opportunity to bring up the issue of the moral question and the fact that it's wrong leads to a discussion often, not always, but often, about how to resolve this issue. There are people that have gone in that have said to me, God will forgive me. You know, they understand that it's wrong and they're doing something for which they need forgiveness. So whether before or after, we're here to love them, to give them the answer to their own moral guilt and to their own sin by coming to know Jesus Christ. There are many avenues by which a person could get involved with 40 Days for Life. One, of course, is just to pray. Ask God to bring an end to abortion and to save lives and to help women to find hope rather than to take their child into an abortion facility and kill it. But they can also go to 40daysforlife.com and sign up and be a participant and go out to their local abortion facility where a 40 Days for Life campaign is taking place. It starts, uh, the next one starts on September 26 and take advantage of the opportunity to pray and to see what is going on. It's a very modest investment of time and energy, one hour, and you can do as many hours as you want, but if you do just one hour, you get a taste of what it is that takes place at an abortion facility and how your presence can help and your prayers can help save lives. Well, here in Broward County, there are more than 11,000 unborn children that die every year as a result of abortion. 
And so what we have, it's the leading cause of death in the county. And what we have is, is an abortion crisis. And uh, because of that, there's a need for me and for lots of other people to be out here to intervene and to uh, stop the killing, the social scourge that is ongoing every day. And it's entirely legal, but it's entirely criminal. So we're just here to provide a witness because, because it's happening and because it's such an offense, really, to God, but also because it destroys so many lives and, and there's a need for a witness for us here. Anyone can have a role in saving another life by praying for an end to abortion and by standing outside an abortion facility. They can actually change the destiny of a human being just by their mere presence and their words and their prayers. So really take advantage of this. Um, we all are called to love our neighbor as ourselves and this is probably one of the leading ways we need to be doing it here in the United States where abortion is so prevalent and where the witness is often times so scarce and so, so modest. So I would say go out, do it, get involved. 40daysforlife.com Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.